we lost all the grapes in 2014 because well, we had no snow and really cold weather. Everybody too about the cold weather. And uh, so most of the buds died and, and we had to bring the vines back up from the ground. And that's, you know, one year is expected, I guess, sometimes. Ohio wine producers have gotten used to kind of mild winters there for a while, hadn't that's they? That's right. Yeah, I started getting, getting lazy, didn't put up enough dirt around the vines to protect them. And uh, so, yeah, they got, they got hurt. And uh, yeah, the thing is, we got hurt again this year. Did you uh, help uh, limit the damage this year by doing better mounding and other things? We did more mounding, better mounding, got new equipment to do that. But then we have all this snow. So uh, we, how does the snow help you? Well, underneath the snow, everything's alive. It doesn't get cold enough underneath the snow. Uh, Greg Johns at the research station said there's a 40 degree difference between a below zero temperatures above the uh, snow and 24 degrees it didn't get colder than 24 uh, below the snow so that's where the, the vines are still alive now did you have to replant we haven't replanted anything yet we're okay. we're going to make our own grafts we're going to take vines that grow here and survive the winter and propagate those put those make those into new vines and plant them that should make them more durable for this kind of weather maybe Maybe they've been selected. If they survive the winter, then maybe they're tougher. So how much did you lose as far as production lines? We lost everything uh, last year. And uh, so this year we'll have grapes, but they'll be all they'll be from below the snow. The wine we would pick uh, last year, we would sell that as, the grapes we would pick uh, last year would be sold as wine in 2016 or 2017 and so what if we lose something this year it's, it's grapes we would be selling in 2017 and 2018 and they would be selling it as wine it takes at least two years here in the cellar to have the wine finish mature you know settle down get clear and get some flavor because young grapes young wines are they're always uh, you know exciting they're like young kids they're teenagers they got a lot of energy and so when they get older and they smooth out and get more mature and then they behave like adults two years of production we usually produce uh, three thousand gallons a year of wine and that's five that's fifteen thousand bottles so we'll be out at least fifteen thousand bottles for out of the 14 vintage and we'll maybe we'll be out ten thousand on the in the 2015 crop, which will come in, which will, you know, bottle in 2017. When do you see yourself uh, doing some replanting? We're going to, re we'll be replanting next year. We're going to do, we're going to bring the vineyard back, as many vines as come back. And we sent wood to be grafted, so we have to make babies, and the babies have to spend a year in the nursery, and then they come back and we plant them. And then it takes three years for them to grow up and, and produce grapes. So we'll be four years away from having uh, any new grapes producing out in the vineyard. We'll, we'll be producing from the old grapes. Most, you know, we had 60% survival, so six out of 10 vines survive. So what are our best varieties? I think Chardonnay is our best variety. Uh, it's very consistent. It makes, we can make better white wines in California. Cabernet Sauvignon is, is done very, very well here. Riesling I like, and many people like Riesling. Uh, it's sweet, but it ripens a week later, and so we always seem to have problems with bugs, and, and you know, the weather turns nasty in the fall sometimes, so, so it's a harder, we've had more problems getting Riesling to ripen and bring it in. So when will you be able to access what the weather has done this year? Oh, we'll know in May, May, May or April, late, late April, early May, maybe even into June, I don't know.